Hey, hello everybody. Some dumb guy here. I've recently been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube, particularly among physical media collectors, about how Walmart is allegedly stepping up their game and expanding their inventory of physical media. Now, I'm seeing a complete opposite effect here in my area with my two local Walmarts. About to go into one of them. I'm gonna check it out, maybe film some footage and contrast that with maybe what you all are seeing. So we're gonna head on inside. Okay, so here I am. This is my closest Walmart to home, and what you're gonna be seeing is the extent of the physical media selection here. And what we have. Are we excited yet? There's one four-foot section. Here's the second one. Now, granted, take a look. They're having some of the uh, best drawn steel books. Okay, yay. I see one, two, three off the top of my head here. Not a whole lot, but definitely some steel books in stock. Oh, there's another best drawn title down there. We've got Little Monsters. Okay. This is the side of an end cap here. A little Walmart exclusive slip covers. Nothing really to write home about. These are pretty bland and ordinary. We have the new release end cap. That's it. Two four foot sections of shelving and one three sided end cap. And there you have for the extent of Walmart's physical media selection. Yay! Well, this is an interesting one here. Um, don't know how many of you have actually heard of this movie, Land of Bad. This was actually a fairly solid action flick that came out a couple of months ago. But what gets me this is a simple DVD release. How often do you guys actually get to see? film that had a genuine theatrical release only get a DVD when it comes to its physical release. That's just bizarre to me. No Blu-ray, no 4K. Looked it up on Blu-ray.com as well. Confirmed only a DVD. How sad is that? So that trip there was the Walmart that I have closest to home. It's a smaller size Walmart, um, but overall a nicer store than the one I'm about to enter, which is a relatively large one. Um, pretty pathetic, 2024, to see vast majority of DVDs in that kind of selection. But now this situation I've already checked out. I was here earlier today. Uh, I was running tight on time, so I didn't recover anything. I decided I'd come back and do this as a whole complete run. I'm going to call this store out specifically, and you're going to find out why, because of how horrible it is as far as its condition goes. This Walmart is in the city of Oxnard, California. It's a bit of a drive from home. However, um, it is still within reach and right across the street from Best Buy, where, you know, as we all used to go to make car purchases and can no longer... But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to run into this store, and I'm going to show you something which I think probably will surprise the vast majority of you. Okay, everybody, here we have the big unveiling. I want you to check this out. All right, so we have the vast majority of DVD now. Where I really want to direct attention to is when you want to check out a price tag. Yellowstone. Hey, that's one's right. Yellowstone. Hmm. Nope. 1923 season one. Nope. 
Hey, look. That one's right. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, looks promising so far. Okay. House of the Dragon Season 1 DVD. That doesn't look like a Targaryen to me. Uh huh. Star Trek. Oh dear God. No. Empty, empty, empty. Anybody want the complete series of Justified? There we go. How about Longmire? Everybody loves Longmire, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, so I was going through all this earlier today. I was actually surprised to see some Marvel steel books and some Star Wars steel books, but overall, look, plenty of DVDs and empty spots. that box office smash from last summer last year Oppenheimer right there it is it could be yours uh -huh. hey look more Oppenheimer anybody see the action packed equalizer three there it is more hey, about the creator uh-huh I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it ain't Wonka. Hey, look. Super Mario Brothers Blu-ray. He doesn't look very Italian. <laughs> okay. Alright, one more DVD slip covers once again. This is supposed to be the new release end cap. It doesn't face the front of the store. Not exactly a lot of new releases, nor a lot of product. Let's see. Aquaman 2 DVD. Yay! Or Aquaman 2 Blu-ray. How about that? How nice. Or... Aquaman 2 DVD. Mm hmm. Have you all seen color purple? Hey, there's a white man. Mm hmm. Butcher's Cross. Never heard of it. Okay, doesn't look like it either. Bad hombres. Uh, maybe not. Ooh, hey, Silent Night. That was a fun one, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Okay. Looks like a lot of trolls to me. Three movies. Fish. Speaking of fish. Jones 5 DVD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's he hiding his whip? Okay. So last time I was here, that was all DVDs, TV series. No more. I see the ISS International Space Station movie. Huh. Emma Stone, she's pretty stellar. And we have a Vestron Steelbook. Another Vestron Steelbook, but uh, nope. And nope. Yeah. 
Walmart, ladies and gentlemen. He was here too. He used to continue on with TV shows last time I was here. Mm -hmm. Let's check some accuracy here. Fear of the Walking Dead, seasons one through seven. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. That one's right. The Walking Dead, complete collection. Starring Dracula. Or everybody remember your favorite universal monster, Mr. Soprano. Game of Thrones. We have a winner. Yay. Mm -hmm. Sopranos. Sure looks like a tough gangster family to me. There's the hitman. Focus. Look at that little dastardly guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. JB. Mm-hmm. Hell on wheels. Oh, them damn bikers. Mm -hmm. I will give them a little bit of credit here. I am impressed with the amount of TV shows that they do stock. That is pretty cool. Of course, don't know have a freaking clue how much any of them cost because, you know, now the price tags match. And that comedic genius of Night Court you can have it. John Wayne of the Vampire Diaries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Charming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. DVDs, 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 DVDs. Okay, having some focus issues here. This also used to be full physical media, now it's just the top. Some anime mostly. I swear when I was here earlier this was half empty. I don't know, it doesn't look like anything still matches. They just throw things wherever they want to as far as I can tell around here. But uh mostly Disney steelbook section, I'm guessing these are, right? Nope, maybe not. No steelbooks. Up here. Around the corner. Uh, Rambo 5 steelbook. Along wheel steelbooks. I got a few steelbooks here, not very many though. Another best drawn steelbook, Shivers. Actually, a poor at least I know I know these things are running about 1999. I couldn't even find that much out with all the other ones I saw. Ten movie set. Wolfman. Oh, 
No, we call him John Wayne. Pretty damn sad. Focus. Almost DVDs entirely. <clears throat> See how those are properly placed. Dungeons and Damn Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. Brought to you by Kill Bill. Speaking of Kill Bill. Oh my god. So. Nice that they have a Shutter original title on the end though, but again, DVD, do don't want it. Terrifier 2. Terrifying. Yes. Okay, and again, last time I was here, this four foot section and this four foot section were all physical media and they had no longer. So that's why. Four sections they've scaled down. It's 32 linear feet. And this random obscure end cap at the back of the store. I think probably most people would miss if they weren't careful. I've been meaning to pick up that Miami Vice set here. It's pretty solid. to know that Picard season three on Blu-ray, they've got it. It's only $14.96. Oh, wait, no, that's Avatar. Sorry. Surprise at the cash register if you don't pay attention. And then lastly, some randoms. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, folks, so what'd you think of that, huh? Quite the sh show, if I do say my so myself. And you know, I watch footage of people walking through Walmarts and praising them and complimenting them for stepping up and trying to fill the void left by both Target and Best Buy um, and dropping their physical media. And yet, here I walk through two stores and I'm not seeing that effort. I'm not seeing the results. I'm not seeing what anybody would consider a positive or encouraging shopping environment in which you want to walk into a brick and mortar store and actually shop for physical media. You and myself and as collectors, we love to go into stores. We love to browse the shelves and explore and find new stuff and get excited about picking it up and looking it over and buying it. If you can actually find anything that you might be interested in either of these two stores, you don't even know what the heck you're going to be paying for it because in the price tag it can't be found anywhere like they throw things randomly on the shelf it doesn't matter no effort no attempts to be made whatsoever to make sure your customers taken care of and it's just absolutely disgusting to me so i basically have locally now no real store in which i can walk into and shop for physical media and it's very discouraging um i'm hoping it changes but it's been going progressively downhill at both stores now for, for a couple years, maybe several years at this point. Um, you know, so it's basically, it's Amazon and it's Groove and it's half price books and Hamilton books and places like that. Orbit DVD, Diabolic DVD, um, you know, you get your Shout and Criterion sales, you can go over there. But um, yeah, for me, it's become almost an exclusively online-only experience, and it's it's very disappointing, particularly when you look at 
how much damage you sustain and having to do returns and exchanges because, you know, things get broken in the mail. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. I've, you know, I bought a CD last month from Amazon, had to purchase it and return it. I do three separate purchases because every time I, brought, I received it, it was smashed. The case was shattered. You know, it's like you shouldn't have to deal with that. Um, same thing with, you know, just Blu-rays, 4Ks, DVDs, box sets, everything else. You get it, you're all excited, you open it, pull it out of the package, you shake it, and all these loose rattling parts before you even get the cellophane off. So, I don't know. I sincerely hope better times are to come, but I'm just not seeing it. So, anyway, thank you all for joining me and for uh, enduring my rant and my poor filming experience. So, anyway, take care. Hi, Crow. Mangy parking lot crow. Hi there.